Our Father Cares, a daily YouTube devotional with Christian Bredahl and the Shepherd's Call team. Join us for today's devotional thought. Good morning. Thank you for joining us here at Shepherd's Call Ministry in our working studio. As you can tell, we've got just a lot of different things going on. And uh, we're thankful that you've chosen to join us each morning that you're able. And as we're the, the weekend is approaching, uh, another day, uh, I want to encourage you, make sure that you uh, spend time in uh, the devotional over the weekend. Remember, we want our daily bread. Amen? All right, let's go ahead and have our prayer. Father in heaven, Please bless us once again um, as we open up and learn a little bit more about the scripture that you have for us today. And may this commentary bless us. And Father, we ask for the Holy Spirit to guide and lead us now. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Let's see. Trees planted by rivers of water. All right. Uh, who'd like to read our opening scripture? Richard? Sure. Psalms 1 verse 3 says, We shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Amen. Dangers beset every path. So in other words, there's not going to be a path that doesn't have dangers. Dangers beset every path. And he who comes off conqueror will indeed have a triumph song triumphant song to sing in the city of God. Some have strong traits of character that will need to be constantly repressed. And I can tell you, that's me. I'm a type A kind of guy, and I want things done, and I want them done well, and I want to move forward, and I want to keep going, 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 going. The challenge is um, I have uh, strong traits of character that need to be constantly repressed. And so if I am not in the Lord, you're going to know it. So pray for me, right? If kept under the control of the Spirit of God, amen, these traits will be a blessing, amen. So God does use strong people in His work. It, it doesn't use wet noodles, you know. Uh, what do you think about that truth? Well, I, I sort of kind of, uh, I think I kind of. No, God's like, yes, that's the truth. I want my people to say my yay is yay, my nay is nay, amen? And that's what God wants, men and women of principle that can make a decision. In fact, I read something in, either was, I think it was Testimony in the Ministers, and it said in there that God would rather us advance and do something in the cause of God, even if we fail, rather, even if it's the wrong choice, rather than sit back and do nothing. Amen. I mean, that's like powerful, you know. He'd rather us go forward. Man, I, we shouldn't have done that. Uh, oops. He'd rather us go forward, and that's our mantra here. We're just going to go forward, go forward, go forward. We want to be in step with God. We don't want to run ahead of Him. But these traits, if they are surrendered to the Spirit of God, will be a blessing. But if not, they will prove a curse. That's a promise, isn't it? If those who are now riding upon the wave of popularity do not become giddy, it will be a miracle of mercy. If they lean to their own wisdom, as so many thus situated have done, their wisdom will prove to be foolishness. But while they shall give themselves unselfishly to the work of God, never swerving in the least from principle, the Lord will throw about them the everlasting arm and will prove to them a mighty helper. We must be. Notice what this one's titled today, this lesson, Trees Planted by Rivers of Water. This is not a leaf floating on the river. This is the tree planted. Amen? And, and every solid tree uh, planted by a river is going to have a nice big deep taproot, it's called. And it, it's a deep root that goes down deep into that earth, and it gets that deep water, right? And we each one need to be tapped in, deeply rooted into the truth tapped into Christ. Amen? Amen? And when we're deeply rooted, and the only way we get rooted is by being in His Word, and by praying, and by fellowshipping with other like believers, reading beautiful spirit of prophecy quotes, and, and, and anyone that was moved by the unction of the Holy Spirit, read what they've given us. Amen? 
planted as a tree by the river. And if we are planted like that, God will prove to be a mighty helper. Praise the Lord. Who would like to read the next little paragraph there? Okay. It's a very interesting one. <laughs> this is a dangerous age for any man who has talents which can be of value in the work of God. Hmm. That's a lot of people. <laughs> That's interesting. It's a dangerous age for any man that, who has talents. Now, who has talents? God's given everyone talents. Everybody. <laughs> so, in other words, this is dangerous for all of us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> yes. Um, it says, um, for Satan is constantly plying his temptations upon such a person, mm. ever trying to fill him with pride and ambition. And when God would use him, it is too often the case that he becomes independent and mm -hmm. self-sufficient and feels capable of standing alone. I, I, listen, one thing you'll learn about me, if you, have, if you don't know me right now, but one thing that you'll learn about me is that I'm very transparent. Uh, and my workers, I shouldn't say my workers, the people I'm blessed to work with here at the ministry, uh, they'll know that. If there's something in my heart, man, I got to talk it out and I got I to be clear with that because I can't, it's like a cancer to me and I can't handle it. Uh, and frankly, that's how God wants us to be. Our yea be yea and our nay to be nay, right? And, and we want to be a family here at Shepherd's Call and, and a worker, uh, workers for God in his family. And I have, I can tell you this, and at... <laughs> At the expense of sounding egotistical right now, and that's not where I'm going with this, but God has blessed me to be able to do a lot of different things. And when we first started this ministry, I was terrified by that because I used to be a singer, a dancer, and an actor, and in video production, TV production. So I had a lot of different tools in my bag. The challenge that I found was that I became so independent, like this is talking about, and so self-sufficient that it was just me running the ministry. I didn't want anybody else to tell me how to do this or how to do that. I, I had a board of advisors that I never even asked for their advice because, frankly, I didn't want to hear what they had to say. So God has had to grow me to where I finally stepped out and said, okay, I'm going to hire somebody. I'm going to hire Rob to help out in the ministry here. And it's hard to let go because it's like, no, I want to do it because I'm the only one that can do it right. Ooh. That's bad news, right? That's pride. That's selfishness. That's self just so strong. And it's like, if, I, if it's going to be done right, I have to do it. And it's like, no, other people have good ideas. Other people have talents. You, Christian, are not the Holy Spirit. You're not the Savior. You're not the Creator. You're a poof. You're just a little speck. Praise the Lord, I realize I'm a speck now. And now we've hired Richard, and Richard's got production experience and, and has done it for a long time. And I'm like trying to let go of some more. <laughs> so the Lord grows us. But I, the reason I'm bringing this up is because if we're not connected to Christ, it says Satan will try to make you have that pride. He will ply his temptations on such a person, ever trying to fill him with pride and ambition when God w and God and when God would use him, it is too often the case that he becomes independent, self-sufficient, and feels capable of standing alone. It's one of the dangers of being a type A and also having some different skills and talents. You think you got it figured out. Friends, what I'm learning in the last few years really of my life is that I don't have it all figured out and oh Lord, forgive me for thinking that I did. I just want to be putty in your hands now. Shape me and mold me. Bring every person that you need to this little ministry so we can get this message out. Amen? And I'm happy to have my brothers with me. All right, who'd like to read the next? Uh, Richard, how about you? Prayer and effort, effort and prayer, will be the business of your life. <laughs> you must pray as though the efficiency and praise were all due to God, and labor as though duty were all your own. Interesting. <laughs> That's awesome. You must pray as though the efficiency and praise were all due to God. So whenever we're efficient in His work, it's because of God, not us. Mm -hmm. Because I always pray. Mm -hmm. You guys hear this. Help us, Lord, to be efficient today and to utilize our time well. No, yeah. it's, Lord, you be efficient through us. <laughs> That's a new prayer for us. Amen. Okay, go ahead. If you want power, you may have it. It is waiting for your draft upon it. Only believe in God. Take him at his word. Act by faith and blessings will come. <laughs> Amen. Those who have a humble, trusting, contrite heart, God accepts. And here's their prayer. And when God helps, all obstacles will be, will be overcome. Amen. The blessing of heaven, obtained by daily supplication, 
will be as the bread of life to the soul and will cause them to increase in moral and spiritual strength like a tree planted by the river of waters. Amen. So who needs the blessing of heaven? Mm, we all do. <laughs> we all do. And you need it too, my friend. You need it as much as we need it. And so I want to encourage you to drink deep drafts of the, from the river of life. Be a tree planted by the rivers of water. God wants to grow you. He wants to help you through your day. He wants to give you part of his vineyard to work in. What a blessing. You know what breaks my heart? Is that many people are satisfied with mediocrity. They're satisfied with the status quo. They're satisfied with just going to church one day a week. They pay their tithe, give an offering, they sing some songs, and they walk away and can't wait to turn the football game on. But friends, how about for this new year, 2014, we said, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. Not what I want to do, but what do you want me to do? Not I'll use my talents for the world for just paying my mortgage, but how do I use my talents for you to win souls? Amen? I want to encourage you. Be about your Father's business today. Because after all, our Father indeed truly cares for you. God bless you. Have a beautiful day.